and welcome to my video all about my notebook lineup for 2022. I know I'm a month late, but January was an incredibly busy month for me. So now I'm taking a deep breath and having fun with some YouTube videos. I currently have six notebooks that I'm using in 2022. All of them bar one are A5 and all of them bar one are hardback. So let's start first with my writing notebook, which is this brown one at the top. Now you've seen this perfectly penned brown writing notebook of mine in previous videos. It is a brown perfectly penned A5 hardback notebook. Um, I thought I would have finished this notebook by now. I started it back in September 2021, but because of the aforementioned busy January, I'm still using it. I found in January that I just didn't write as much as I normally do in my writing notebook. So I use this notebook for all my thoughts. They're often writing and creative ideas, but I also use it for everything, including writing the outline for this video, my anxieties, and most recently, something interesting I heard on a podcast. So if we take a little look inside, this is the script for today's video. And this is where I wrote down something I heard on a podcast with Fern Cotton, um, who is a presenter here in the UK. And I just thought it was really, really interesting. So I've written it down and I may use that quote at a later date in my writing. I just thought it was on point for what I'm writing about at the moment. So yeah, I started this back in September and I have just under 50 pages left. And this is something I love about the Perfectly Pen Notebook. You have the page numbers there at the bottom and it's got the strappy elasticated um, strap to close it back up. It's got two bookmarks and it's got the envelope at the back to store things in. And you may notice that I have got post-its in this notebook. And if you look back on my channel, you will see I've got a couple of videos which talk about what these post-its mean. Basically, they are marking the pages of things I've written that I would like to focus on this year during 2022. So you can find out more about them in my video, how I'm using my writing journal to plan my writing and creative tasks. And the other one, how I'm planning my writing and creative projects using tiny steps. And I will link both those videos below. So as I said, I thought I would have finished this perfectly penned journal by now. And in anticipation of finishing this one, I bought myself a brand new notebook. This is a lined A5 notebook. And as you can see here, it's extra thick, 120 GSM paper, which I believe is the same as the perfectly penned one. It lies flat and it's got the back cover envelope and it's a vegan leather cover. This one only has a 180 pages. I think this one has about 250. This one has 255 pages. So this one's slightly smaller, but otherwise it's identical in terms of the paper, the lay flat binding and the vegan leather cover. So, and it's also got an elasticated strap. It's only got the one bookmark and it's embossed with a moon and stars. And if you open it up, it's got little space to put who it belongs to. This is very thick piece of card and I've just written down my word for the year but mine is two words this is all about taking tiny steps with my projects and just focusing on one task at a time and not getting daunted with it all now the difference another difference between the two is the color of the paper so 
as you can see the perfectly penned one is slightly creamy and this yop and tom one is whiter so this one i anticipating using very soon and like i say it's got this envelope at the back and now that i've shown you i can finally take off this cover i was very much attracted to the dark green of this particular note it's my two writing notebooks my current one and this one ready and waiting to be started my next journals that i'm going to show with you are not that one of these three journals these three journals are devoted to my projects and my tasks and i have them to increase my productivity, increase my confidence and increase my momentum and motivation and all that sort of thing. Now you might be thinking, why does she need three notebooks to plan out her projects? And you'd be right to ask. However, let me show you how I use them and what each one does to give you a better idea. So we'll come to this one last. This is my original planning notebook and this is where I would break all my projects down by quarter, by month and then by week and then by day. And I would sit and do this at the beginning of every quarter, every month, every week and every day and it's what started me off on my creativity for the day ahead just by going through and drawing these little rectangles right in the day or the month in them filling them in with my pencils and then writing down what i hope to achieve during that day with a little square ticky off box there last year at the end of the last year i bought this planner pad and i shared the inside of the planner pad on a video a couple of months ago so if you want to have a look at that in more detail do go ahead and check out that video again i will link that in the box below but this planner pad and this one is from october 2021 to september 2022 it's executive size eight and a half inches times 11 inches and inside each week you can break down all your projects so here i've got the confident creative club my non-fiction proposal my newsletter my youtube and my blog so they're my main projects and then you can divide it up according to the day of the week and you transfer tasks from the top here to the relevant days that you hope to achieve them. And then right at the bottom, you also have the times. So whether you've got any appointments, so I had an appointment here at 1030 and I have another one tomorrow at three o'clock. So I've written those ones down in there. However, the thing with the planner pad is it didn't give me space to have an overview of my goals and my projects for each quarter that I have done in this book. So where I've done Q2 projects, for example, and then later on, I have three my three main, main, main projects I've got here. So I've got the Confident Creative Club, which relates to the CCC there, my book proposal, again, which is here. And then on this page, my YouTube, again, which is there in the planner pad. I didn't have a space for this overview within the planner pad and I felt I was trying to divide my tasks down without anywhere without a starting point if that makes sense of an overview of everything that I wanted to achieve so I came back to this my original planning notebook which is a Le Mans again 120 GSM I believe and um, it lays flat and I do love the Limon notebooks. Again, it's got a little envelope in the back and this one is the dotted one. So this is where I decided to write down all the main tasks 
under each project. So the Confident Creative Club, during January, I was creating a course, a four week course called Tiny Steps, Big Impact within the Confident Creative Club. And this is all the main tasks that I needed to do to complete that project. And you can see there I've written, done and ticked it twice. And then with my book proposal, it's the same thing. I've written down all the individual sections I need to get done and done ticks next to them. And I have almost finished my first draft. You can see there it says the deadline is the 31st of January and it, today it's the 4th of February. And I hope to finish that within the next few days, maybe the next week. Um, and I will have all of these three things, four things done here. And then I'll print it off as my first draft and then start the editing process. So I'm really, really pleased with that. Um, and then here I've got my YouTube where I wanted to just sort things on my channel. And I've made a note here that I have done three videos and one short during the month of January. I ideally wanted four videos, but you know, it's been a busy month. So yeah, this is where I put an overview of everything I wanted to achieve. And that relates to my post-it task board, which I will put a little overview of what that looks like. And again, you saw me putting that together in a previous video. So now what I do is I break down everything I would like to achieve during the month and then break it down into weeks. The same as what I used to do, but just so that when I transfer it over to the planner pad, it makes more sense for me because I don't always have everything on my post-it notes. Um, things come up, you know, people will email me and ask me to do things within the club or I will have mentoring sessions with some clients and things like that. So I also have a section there that I write down things that aren't on post-its. And then these are the post-its that I've taken off my post-it task board and I have put for this week in my notebook. And if I don't achieve them this week, then I'll transfer them to next week. So February number one, that refers to this video that I'm currently making now, my journal video. And so once I've finished that, I'll take that off and that goes into this brown journal, which I will show you shortly. So then I take all these projects, or these tasks, sorry, then I break them up even further, like I've shown you with my non-fiction proposal, I wanted to get my chapter sample introduction to part two done this week and I've done that and everything for the Confident Creative Club, I've done all of those as well. And then I broke them down into which particular day and we're currently on Friday and it says here, write script for my journal video, which I've done, and I'm currently in the process of recording it. So I'll be able to tick that off once I've done my final two notebooks, and then it will be down to the edit. So I've taken the post-it, which is quite broad, February number one YouTube video, and then in here, I've broken it down into even smaller tasks that I can do on separate days. So the planner pad I bought from Amazon, I believe. I will put a link to that as well below. But so far, it's, it's, it's useful. It's helping me with the flow of everything. Um, so taking big projects and dividing them up. But I don't think I could use this planner pad just because of the way my mind works without this Le Mans planning journal as well. So then I have this one and this one is a dingbats. It's again, it's a hardback. It is a square note square paper this one doesn't have any page numbers but the paper is fairly thick and this is my tracking journal so here i write down everything i've achieved so in these two is everything i've got to do from a kind of broad strokes perspective then narrowing down onto the smaller tasks 
this one is all about what I have achieved. So January has just finished. So I put for the Confident Creative Club, I finished and carried out the Tiny Steps course. And I wrote the first draft of my book proposal minus the chapter sample, which is the last thing that I need to do. So that shows me what I've achieved this month. And it makes me feel really good to see how much I have achieved. Then on the next page, this is for the month of January, and there I just write down what tasks I've done or worked on every day. This is both writing tasks and all the kind of background stuff for the club, writing the slides out, planning the slides out for all the masterclasses. I've even written down when I did my self-assessment for my taxes and stuff like that. Um, and then this one is specifically for how many words I've written. So I can see that I am making progress. I am moving forward, even if it's just a few hundred words during the day. And then this, which I love, is all the tasks that have come off my post-it task board. And I've transferred them into this journal when I was working on them. And then when I've completed them, I very, very happily and with a lot of satisfaction, transferred them into my completed page um, in my tracking journal. So I'm very, very pleased with that. I've also written down a few extra things that I have done as well. And then I have started again for February of the tasks that I've worked on. So for today's date, the 4th, I've done the script for this video by the way i've written a script for this video but i'm not referring to it at all as i go through yeah so i i kind of write scripts and then i just talk but I, at least i know where i wanted to go with this video and i've also done how many words i've written so on the second i only wrote 108 words but it still got put down in my tracking journal to show that i did work or wrote some words on the, that day. Okay, so that is my three journals that helps me with my productivity, my planning, and all the mess that goes on inside my head. And I want to transfer everything that I want to do down onto paper, and then I can make sense of it. Now, I mentioned that this provides me with confidence and motivation. And why is that? Well, simply because of this. When you open that page and you see everything that you have worked on over the last four weeks, it gives me a real sense of achievement. And that sense of achievement turns to momentum. It turns to confidence because I can see everything I've done instead of sort of brushing off the last month and oh yeah I did loads of work but I can't remember exactly what I did that sort of negative chatter that goes on in your head you kind of talk yourself down oh I didn't achieve much at all I'm so rubbish I'm so lazy but seeing it all here laid out you think yes I am or I have during the month of January taken tiny steps towards my projects, towards my goals, towards my creative ambition. And I can see it all there in nicely coloured post-it sticky notes. So yeah, that's why I believe doing it this way for me gives me momentum and gives me that little extra little bit of confidence because you have that little bit more self-belief that you can do this. So my final notebook, notebook number six, is this one. It is another Le Mans, but this is a lined journal. And this one is my reading journal. And I decided to do this because last year, except for December, I read very, very few books. I don't know why. I, it just wasn't something I turned to. So I decided to set myself... A challenge to read 45 books this year and I have sorted them by genre. I've got cosy crime, contemporary romance, non-cosy crime um, and non-fiction at the moment. I mean if I read something from a different genre I will add that extra colour there. 
I've not quite finished this out, uh, planning this out, but these are the three books that I have read in January. I've got one red one, which is Cozy Crime, and that was Midwinter Murder, a selection of short stories by Agatha Christie. Then I've got two non-fiction books that I read, which was Disconnected by Emma Gannon and Dear Writer, You're Doing It Wrong by Becca Syme. And then I've also included my December reads as well. So I read one, two, three, four, five, six, seven books during December, but they do not get put forward to my 45 goal, 45 books goal I'd like to read during 2022. I simply just wanted to make a note of what I thought about them. And then books I've read this year. Again, you've got the three on the bookshelf. Um, I write down ideas I have of what I would like to read if I see something recommended or whatever. And th this is where I write my mini reviews. And that is it so far. If you're interested in this one or interested in what I've been reading, I will do another video about that at a later date when this has got more books inside it. So that is my six notebooks to use during 2022. I hope you enjoyed this video. Any questions, drop me a message below. I will see you next time. Bye for now. Bye.